Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here and discuss something about, uh, first of all, uh, Finnish uh, innovation ecosystem and then specifically SME area. That is the topic of today. So uh, when looking at Finnish uh, system, uh, Finland is uh, definitely a great innovation uh, environment. We have had always, uh, or always, but a long time high R&D, public and private R&D spending. Uh, what is uh, very important in, in the whole ecosystem is that we have very active dialogue between uh, companies and research institutes and, and public sector. So that collaboration has worked well and in small economy like we are, it's a really real benefit uh, of, the, of the actions and, and collaboration. Uh, when looking at the system, how we work, it's also quite simple system uh, in, a, in a small country. Um, there are two main ministries uh, which are funding innovation. That is a Ministry of Education and Culture and their Academy of Finland is funding fundamental basic research. Uh, and uh, then ministry, under Ministry of Employment and Economy, uh, TEKES is the main funding agency, but is funding uh, also research, but that is uh, applied research and, and uh, company uh, R&D programs. Um, in other ministries there are small uh, research institutes, but they are not really fund funders in that sense. Uh, this, uh, when looking a little bit at how we are uh, operating and, and uh, where are we placing in this system. Here you see that the Academy of Finland really in this uh, basic research area. Tekes uh, applied research up to go to market area and uh, and then Finvera what is the what is the actor in uh, export finance and all that so that takes uh, takes a role there. Uh, these different players uh, we are forming so-called Team Finland, together with the uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, to today, means that we try to bridge these Finnish companies to, to global business. And that, is, uh, initiate, that initiated some years ago, the tighter collaboration, and uh, we are doing quite well there. So I guess that the tightest collaboration is actually in, in international or in, in markets outside Finland, and we are trying to tighten the collaboration even more inside Finland. Uh, and uh, one example of the tightening collaboration is that we very recently now, so this year, we decided with some of the actors which, which were present in this previous slide, we even created a common strategy, so so-called strategy for strengthening of the Finnish economy it means that uh, how we as different players see the situation first of all global trends global mega trends but how they are anchored to Finland what is the relevance in these trends in Finland we can't pick everything but we have to pick something and uh, and then depending on the areas then we can separately agree with different players that okay who will take a ball and how we align our activities and actions together we are not acting every everybody in every field but in a selected manner we can trigger uh, different activities these players here you probably recognize from a previous area academy of finland is uh, really the uh, yeah, basic research funder Finvera, Finpro, Finpro is export agency, Citra is a think tank, more or less, under parliament. So that doesn't belong to any ministry, but that is under parliament. But uh, it's quite influential think tank because it is neutral and uh, it's listened very carefully because their studies and their, their knowledge is, is very deep and they take examples around the world. So that is a good addition to this ministry. Uh, actors uh, around. So that is, we are very pleased that our collaboration is is deepening. Uh, then when uh, looking at this strategy or strategy, what uh, what we kind of uh, pulled together and also how we as Tekest and took our role in that strategy. There are a few points 
again that what we what we figured out there are certain areas that we feel that are strong holds in Finland in terms of the oops do we have here light yeah it's very weak but yeah like natural resources and resource efficiency is something what is typical global mega trend but very strong capabilities in Finland digitality renewing business and industry again very strong capabilities in Finland ICT digitalization and then health area wealth well, well-being and health and here specifically e-health and personalized health uh, developments so those are the areas that we picked as uh, as themes to to really focus on but then in addition to that we figured that there are commonalities market access is a problem for Finnish companies and there are lots to do and there needs to be a lot of things to be, to be done together that is not only funding issues there are you know overall uh, areas of uh, let's say taxation regulation uh, all that kind of things uh, what needs to be tackled uh, wider new business ecosystems that is also an interesting area that what are the platforms what kind of mechanisms we need to have that we can have even systemic change and enhancing some of the innovation and, and pushing things to to market so that that kind of things we we uh, collectively found out we also built here digitalization intangibility and value creation here in the middle because these are really cross cutting fields what are, what is touching everything as we say that digitalization there is no field in society it it doesn't touch it's education it is healthcare it's uh, everything what is also uh, very uh, public sector issues in addition to normal businesses and then also this intangibility and value creation uh, business models will change a lot when going forward and therefore we are not concentrating on technology in innovation only but anything what is renewing economy what is renewing uh, businesses and, and and creating something new in in uh, in uh, finland oops out of there uh, just to highlight that what we are doing so th- we are really funding organizations r&d programs and uh, innovation in finland but in addition to that we are providing also networks and and uh, expertise for companies uh, we have different kind of projects programs i will talk a little bit about those also but then, and and our focus customers are uh, growth seeking innovative smes so we are seeking companies who would like to grow who would like to scale who would li- who have ideas but and, and also aspiration to to go uh, Uh, beyond uh, Finland boundaries our elements or instruments are grants loans and also capital in- investments but our capital investments is only fund of funds so we are not investing directly to the companies but we have fund of funds what what invest in, in in that kind of funds what are investing in seed and early phase companies annual budget 550 to 570 million euros and our personnel is about 400 people. So growth potential is something what we are seeking when customers are approaching us. So we're not only you know handling issues with customers uh, by paper. We have a lot of dialogue, personal dialogue with customers and trying to understand their potential uh, and uh, aspirations by that. So SMEs So we have different mechanisms and uh, and, and different kind of uh, tools to tackle that. And we are constantly developing new elements that how we can help SMEs going for, forward. This research and development is definitely something, but even before that, we have to have we have, for example, an instrument for planning and growth and and so forth. Demos, piloting, very important piece of uh, of SMEs. And then also uh, foresight. We have a service what is called Team Finland Future Watch, 
uh, what is the foresight uh, information for companies. Not only you know information what's uh, or data what is ar- around, but something um, through sense making mechanism. What does that mean if in China this and this law changes? So what does it mean for this SMEs in Finland? What is the interpretation and what does what does it mean uh, for you? Not the data, but the really uh, the kind of tailored tailored information in a sense that it is not tailored for one company. It means that for the group of company or for a sector or something and, and in the dialogue with with the, with the companies. That is the most Im- important element also when going forward that how to get these SMEs to grow and and uh, and getting getting different kind of tools and not only tekes but uh, in collaboration with others. Here it is the most important issue is that how we can align different actions and activities uh, within Finland and uh, also elsewhere to, to get these companies grow. In a, in a startup area uh, it's covered pretty well already. We have different stages uh, for getting startups to, to, to grow and uh, our Jewel is this uh, funding for young innovative companies. This is a program what is uh, by invita- not by invitation but by application the best of the best can get into this program and there is a funding up to 1 million euros and it's covering a little bit more than R&D and that is very efficient and, and has been a very good I- example. Uh, we are also of course developing all the time different kind of tools. We have Vigor Accelerator program There's currently 10 accelerators, and that is a, uh, they, those companies bring expertise and funding mechanisms, and we, we help them to, to, to develop companies. And then I mentioned already this uh, Tekes investment in startup. It's a venture fund, and it's a fund of funds. 20 million annually. What is the plan there? Some examples of the long development cycles. Game industry development has been a long cycle in Finland, and there, uh, you know, afterwards, it's good to remind ourselves that uh, what has been different uh, steps and why this game industry developed in Finland. Uh, currently, there is about one billion revenue of the game industry in Finland, and uh, very often they are very small players. But this tells that uh, it's a long story. Started already in 80s. And, uh, and, and uh, different steps uh, happened during the way and uh, acceleration of this game industry of course happened in, in 2000. Uh, mobile gaming boom is, was definitely something what collected uh, combined Finnish capabilities in mobility, applications in mobility via Nokia of course and, uh, and then the new trend. But then importantly, very important examples, role models have happened during the way. So Finnish companies can be really successful and that is a very important message to other companies, smaller companies. We can be successful as well. So that's important uh, to, 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 to look always afterwards at what happened. Slush, that is another you know, phenomena. I've been discussing with many people uh, today and yesterday about this. This is a student driven Uh, huge uh, uh, kind of get together, what brings together startups, later stage companies, and, and capitalists uh, in Finland. Uh, this year, the event collected uh, 14,000 visitors. Last year, 7,000, and previous year, something like 3,000. So it's doubling every year, and uh, it's organized by students, and that is uh, weird. CEO of Slush is 25 year old student. COO of Slush is uh, something like is a 26 years old student, and the team is uh, a quite small. What is the core team, and then they are running the whole show with the volunteer-based uh, people coming from students, and uh, and that is uh, it is one of the biggest startup event in whole Europe, and it's attracting the best investors in the world. And uh, here it says that it attracted 40 billion worth of venture capital last year. This year figure wasn't here, but it was 200 billion worth capital this year. 200 billion. So all the VCs, best VCs in the world were present there. 
Right, so that is a, just an example of the boom of uh, startups in Finland. And that is very important in terms of the grassroots development. It doesn't solve the Finnish economical issues currently, but that is very important for the long term and, and also building the new kind of uh, capabilities. Uh, we are measuring our figures, or measuring our results annually, of course, that uh, what, what do we do uh, and, and what was uh, generated uh, in, in one year. And uh, typical year is that, uh, that we had uh, close to 2,000 funding, positive funding decisions, uh, about 2,000 uh, projects funded every year. So we have some thousands of projects running all the time. And uh, volume is, uh, is very high, 577. One third in principle goes into research and, and two thirds to company, company projects. Uh, we can also fund foreign companies and that is a typical case also that, uh, that foreign companies come after talent but also uh, the case funding is available for them. Uh, our programs, I mentioned that uh, we trigger programs under certain themes. In any given time we have maybe 15-20 programs running in different areas. Uh, and uh, new this year program, what were actually triggered a few weeks ago, one week ago, or two weeks ago, are digital programs. We initiated three uh, strong digital programs uh, uh, worth of uh, 150 million Euro, uh, euros for five years, expecting that the industry will double that. So that means that the worth 300 million digital programs uh, going forward. And that, that is a one kind of uh, boost for this digital theme, what we are driving very, very uh, strongly. One example of this, uh, of, of this program, program is this witty city program. It's not smart city program because everybody uses smart city name, but witty city. Uh, and, and that is a good example of the platform and uh, kind of the system, ecosystem, where uh, it might be a uh, new development area of the city, for example, where we push the city to use innovative procurement, <coughs> public procurement, innovative procurement to, to, to really attract new fresh ideas, new uh, companies to bring solutions for safety, well-being, waste management, energy management, and all that kind of things. And uh, we are boosting strongly that piece in, in uh, Finnish ecosystem currently. And then just uh, finishing up that, uh, yes, we have, uh, we have uh, as I said, that we collect our results uh, annually, but uh, spending close to 600 million in innovation programs annually, we have to be able to prove also impact of the funding, not only input and, uh, and, and output immediately, but also impact in society in, in longer term. In last 10 years, we have conducted something over 70, 70 impact studies of TECES. Different programs, projects, whole TECES, innovation capabilities in Finland and all that kind of things what, uh, what, what we feel that is pretty important that we cover it also academic, academically even this impact is pretty difficult to, uh, to prove. Uh, longer the ch uh, chains are very often very long and you can sometimes you can tell the story afterwards. For example this uh, gaming industry development in Finland it's a story and then you can pick and point uh, the issues that were, for example, governmental role was pushing a little bit further in some areas, nudge things further, and uh, and uh, then the end result is uh, is uh, is visible. One example, maybe here. Uh, so how do, how we are measuring it? So we do three years after every project we fund. Three years afterwards, we go back and ask from that. Uh, company that, uh, that what was the result? Was the result something that uh, was, I mean, that, uh, compared to the ex expectations and how successful it was and so forth. And, and here we are, a couple of uh, measures from the 2009 and 2000, and between 2009 and 12. So Tekes funded projects, uh, they gave, generated about 20% better job growth 
and, and sales turnover compared to companies which were not funded. And then even longer term, uh, we have a database in Finland, what is called SFINO database, what collects every innovation in Finland. And uh, up, uh, according to that database, 65% of the all well-known innovations in Finland were funded by TEKES, or partly funded by TEKES. And uh, then uh, what is important is that over 80% of TEKES customers state that uh, TEKES funding was a significant factor in their success uh, of these uh, uh, innovation projects. And then also this addi addi additionality, uh, one uh, TEKES euro uh, boosts uh, company R&D expenses by two euros. And that has been also, there were several studies have been conclu concluded the same result. That yes, there is really, uh, they are adding this, the R&D and, and R&D intensity is improving in that sense. So that is very important to, uh, to measure and, and also prove uh, this kind of results. Also one typical result is that uh, about 1,000 patents or patent applications are coming through this uh, annual, annually uh, from, uh, from our funding. And uh, so we con continue to do that and constantly improving and, and, and trying to develop also in academic world the measures how to, this impact is, is measured and, and uh, and also we try to prove it in a simple manner uh, also to the uh, general public and, and also politicians that yes, it is worth uh, funding this way and uh, to, to innovations and, and you can really collect the results and you can prove the results later. So, that was all. Thank you so much. That was really, really uh, fascinating.